welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser trailer for a movie I don't think we needed a sequel to, but they said fuck it. And that is, the, of course, the teaser trailer for Joker Fale Adu. Yeah. Apologies if I fucked that up. I mean, it's pretty much the second part. That's all I really mean. Yeah, it trans roughly translates to that. So, last we left off, due to him shooting and killing Robert De Niro's character, chaos... Yeah, pretty much. We saw all over Gotham. We saw And yeah. even leading to yeah. Batman's parents' death. Which I think was a bit much, but okay. And last we it's, saw him... Yeah, he, la well, last we saw... Because a lot of people theorized the way it ended pretty much. Because it was, it was one of those things where it was like... Was this a story that he was just making up? Because it sounded like he was telling the story in a way. And that's what people theorized going... Was this story all just made up? You know, that he's, te he's telling them? Or what's going on? That's where it really kind of broke down at that time once it ended. Yeah, reality or not, he did murder the therapist and walked out okay. in that room. But we find him, Still, of course, yeah. in Arkham Asylum, obviously. Yeah. And... Yeah, the biggest, of course, the, the biggest, biggest news. The, yeah, the biggest, the biggest. Two thing, big yeah. things coming. Yeah. One is that Lady Gaga will be here playing. I don't know if she's just flat playing Harley Quinn or is going to first play Doctor Harley and Quinzel. Um, two, and I just found out recently, this is going to be like a jukebox style musical. Yeah, which caught me off guard for two reasons. One, a jukebox musical. Okay. Two. You have Lady Gaga in your cast. I mean, she can help you come up with a couple of songs. But you know what? I did, I know the flack some people all had with the first one. I thought it was a good film. For I, what thought, it was. I thought uh, I thought it was a phenomenal film because you know, Joaquin Phoenix, even the director, they made it their own. They made the Joker yeah, their top, own. Uh, top Phillips, yeah. Top Phillips. They made the Joker their own, and even overall, a lot of people agreed. A lot of the filmmakers agreed, going. This was like literally like a case study of the mind of somebody just at that you know at that, at that precipice of like they're about to snap and this is what happens when they do finally crack you know when they finally do crack and this is what happens pretty much we just dive into that psychology and that's what really yeah I got a lot of mixed stuff but for me personally I loved it it was a phenomenal film and I loved his interpretation uh, of his you know of the Joker and stuff like that and where he w took it so. Yeah. Now, to, in this one, I have to admit, in this one now, the rules have changed where it's like, yeah, we now we know who his Joker is, but now it's like we have to dive into who is Harleen, you know, who's Harley Quinzel, who is she as a person, and, you know, that's what, and that's what I want to get out of this, is like, how, yeah, who is before, she out and we're going to her I think her playing, like, I was, I was like, great casting, great casting, because I, back in my head, I was, like, imagining her and the, like, the, the therapist get up. I'm like, she could fucking pull it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, let's dive in. Let's just dive into this for the official teaser trailer for Joker Fully, fully Ado. So, here we go. <laughs> Wasn't me. You hit it so hard. It was the like, USB, nope. You hit it so hard, the USB disconnected. <laughs> it was like, it literally just told me, nope. Jesus Christ. Let me show this again. Okay. Make sure we get this. All right, here we go. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? So I'm about. Okay, no, she's a. Looks like she's a patient there she's too. A patient there. We use music to make us whole. To balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Remember that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Other people with Joker in there. 
Okay, so by the time in this version, by the time he meets her, she's already been committed. Yeah, look like she's already been committed. Yeah. But I lo what I like, it looks like it's like he's just Arthur Fleck. He's not the Joker. He's just Arthur Fleck, and it feels like she's the one who pulls it back out of him. She's the one that really pulls out the Joker. That's why I like at the end where she's like, "I want the real you. I don't want this Arthur Fleck. No, I want the real you. I want the Joker." That's what I want. And I love how it's like their imagination, you know, with all these dancing and musical and stuff so, like that. So, okay, so the film's first theory is wrong. So he did really do all of that. And now yeah. it looks like there's even a point where he's put up, he, I guess he's on, on trial for what he's done. Yeah. And that's where he's asking, has anything changed? And he's like, why are you talking about me when you're talking about I found somebody? Mm hmm. Because apparently, um, Zassy Beats character returns too, so she's definitely probably people on she's trial. Probably, yeah, she's probably one of the like the witnesses and stuff like that to what he did, or at least everything he, he you know he did around I'm her. Just, I'm willing to give this a chance. Like I like Lady Gaga. I thought Joaquin's per performance in the first one was well I see, done. They're, they're, I see where that's why I say I see where they're going with it. It's like she's trying to she you know she's she's the reason why you know he is who he is. You know she pulled it out of him. It's like, you know, he thought he got rid of it because he's like, I did it, that's it. But it's like, no, it's oh, it, it's pretty much, it is you. This is yeah. who you are. This is who you truly are. And I like this because it's like, or you see other it. Joker like Joker likes? It looks like either, it looks like maybe fans who are trying to, yeah. that's what it feels like. They're just chasing them down, possibly. Yeah, probably. Joker and Harley. I love the, the white suit nod very much when he wears the white suit because we saw that in uh, The Dark Knight Returns, mm -hmm. when he wears a white suit pretty much, you know, so, the dancing and everything, and look at people cheering him on, Yeah, that's what it looks like, people are, like still rooting for him, Hotel Arkham, so, yeah, so that's what it looks like, people are still rooting for him. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks good. I'm curious to see more. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Will he sing? I don't know. <laughs> he probably will. I'm not, like, I know she was going to sing. But uh, she definitely given. because I think it's all focused around her doing what she can to pull it out of him. Yeah, but um, we'll have to see. On oh, this. Yeah. Uh, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about some DC. EU, what is it? What do you what do you say? No, DC Elseworld stuff. Yeah. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what your guys' thoughts are with this first teaser for Joker, uh, for the uh, for the Ado or Part Two. Um, you know, what are you guys' thoughts, theories in it? Do you guys trust in what they're they're gonna deliver compared to the first film and stuff like that? Do you enjoy the first film overall, or, or were you one of those skeptics that you were just not really fully into it? Um, you know, and uh, for this one, you know, what do you guys th th the thoughts are like with them going with the whole, you know, musical slot side of it pretty much with with Harley and you know, like you said a jukebox type of musical. You know, the, do you think it's gonna fit just right? Does it look like they're molding it together, or do you think it's 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 gonna be a rough patch? You know, mm -hmm. to follow up such a great film, in my opinion, a great film for the first one. Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. Yeah, and I believe, yeah, if you want to check out our initial reactions to the first trailer for the original Joker film, mm -hmm. you can check it out right here on the channel. But until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very part do filled episode of SRB. Thank you. See ya. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.